It's damp. It's wet. It's depressing. But there's nothing depressing about this matchup today. It is Brighton versus Arsenal here at the Amex Stadium, here for another home game. Let's go to the Amex Stadium and start this amazing match day vlog. Welcome, Brighton fanatics, to another Loot Links Brighton match day vlog. I'm so humble, don't play around. This is your time, don't mess around, boy. <laughs> So we've come here a little bit earlier to the Amex Stadium today just to uh, get a bit of the atmosphere in and also I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour around the ground and also in the club shop for you uh, Brighton fans that want to see it or never been in there before and uh, we're just going to go actually because it's rainy and it's wet get straight to interviews as well straight after that so let's get started with this match day vlog by going around the Amex Stadium and looking in the club shop. guys we have joined by some incredible Brighton fans here with some incredible uh, flags as well we've got the Argentinian flag over there it's absolutely amazing guys today is Arsenal what do you think the score prediction is for today what's your score prediction goal scorers um, I think two all and I think um, a, a goal for Trossard and for Matoma and for Arsenal a goal for Martinelli and Saka oh love that what about you buddy 2-1 to Brighton and I think Trossard's going to score two goals. Confident, we love that. What do you think, buddy? I think 2-1, Trossard's going to score two goals. And for Arsenal, Saka and Saka. Oh, Saka absolutely Saka. love that. Absolutely love that. Guys, so obviously the January transfer window is coming up. Do you think that McAllister is going to stay with us or do you think he's going to go? Uh, I think he's going to stay. He just signed a new contract a few months ago, so he I did? think he will stay for at least rest of this season. That would be amazing. Do you think McAllister's going to stay? I think he'll stay for a bit longer. Yeah, you think he's going to stay for the rest of the season? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What do you I, think? Do you think McAllister's going to stay or do you think he's going to go? Uh, I don't really know, but I hope he does because I've got the Argentinian flag. Yeah, we absolutely love that. Guys, thank you for coming on. Fist bump for you all. Done amazing today. Thank you for coming on. I've, seen, I've spotted Luke today in the old <laughs> Albion. Amazing. So we have Justin today. Look, Justin, we're a bit of a bogey team to Arsenal, aren't yeah, we? Well, we are. Yeah. Well, as you saying that, yeah. we, we, we do yeah, we do quite well, don't we, against we do. Arsenal? The last... I mean, I mean, when was the last time we lost? I can't quite remember. Is it a draw? It was... A win? So we won the last game. It was the uh, Carabao. And then we yeah. beat them also at, uh, at their ground. And yeah. I believe we drew on the third one. So we've had points galore yeah. against them recently. What do you think today, then? Score predicts well, and goal scorers. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping because we are pretty good at home and we yeah. start to score more goals now. I know our striking force isn't brilliant. I'm not really too keen on you. Yudaf, is it? You, what's his name? Dennis Sundava. Yeah, maybe? yeah. That's it. I'm not too keen on him. Welbeck's injured. And who else was injured, you said? So we have Webster out. We have uh, Welbeck out. Casado suspended off the yellow card. Right, I'm going to go for Trossard to score if he's playing. He should be. Yeah. And who else? I'll go for uh, what defenders are playing today? So I mean, are they, is Probably it, Colwell, Dunk, probably Veltman because he played last time. Dunk from, from a corner, header. Whoosh, in the, in the, like that. That's a good it. do. And it's going to be 2 1 to the Albion. 2-1 to the Albion. And that's definitely going to be because we are very good against the top teams. and we Because <laughs> they come it. out, we come, they come at us and we go at them. You play releg relegation teams, they're just, you can't, you can't nice. seem to get out, Absolutely can we? Not. Absolutely they not. Should, they're all defended up. It almost seems like we play better against the harder teams, doesn't it? We, we you do play better. The, all the mm. top teams we've played, even Man City when we played, you know, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, we should, some of yeah. these games we shouldn't have lost. Absolutely not. You Agreed. know what I mean? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've got a bit off yeah. but all I'm hoping for us in the January sale is why, why can't we get someone a bit decent striker do you yes. think yes striker that's what I'm on about a striker someone decent for once anyone in mind 
actually saying I haven't really thought about anyone in mind at the moment. But yeah. of the ones he, he's had, I've been all right, but I'm not. I've never heard of them. No, never heard no. of them. You know no. what I mean? I'm Agreed. 50 years old, so I don't. I don't know all these players from weird countries. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. You, you know no, what I, agree. I mean? I agree. But anyway, apart from that, we'd, that the album we're doing all right, and hopefully it'll be a two-one victory. Absolutely. And that way, Luke. Love God it, Justin. Yeah, Thank you, mate. No worries. All right, bro. Shout out your channel. We all know um, you're the other Brighton vlogger here. Yeah. Shout out your channel. Uh, Sport 7 FC. Absolutely love it. What do you think today then, mate? Today's a big one. We're always a bogey team against Arsenal. Are we going to get something from them again today? Of course we are. Love it, mate. What's the, uh, <laughs> what's the score prediction then and goal scorers? I reckon... I don't know. I reckon the cup game will have them up against the bounce. You know, make him second thing what we're going to try and play forward. I reckon the team will get one. And I reckon Trotter might get two and just miss out on the hat trick to try and make it 4 0. Oh, it? mate, we absolutely <laughs> love that. We absolutely love that. So, obviously, January transfer market coming up. Who do you think we should be going for? What kind of position do you think we should be going for? I think we definitely need an attacker. Mm -hmm. um, and does be doing his best, but. It's not the best, yeah, is look, he? Look to him match out and then he just looks like he can't cut it for the English game. Yep. Uh, Connolly coming back, I don't think he's going to get in there. Nope. Oh, so I reckon definitely a striker mm -hmm. and maybe definitely another centre back for backup for Agreed. you know if Webster's out longer. Yep. And Cornwell's got to go back. He has got to go back unless we buy him. So do you think we do have a chance in getting him? I mean, Chelsea don't look too interested. I've heard. Well, what I read on Twitter, mm -hmm. he's planning on leaving. Yes. So, but we'll Brighton put the money up. We'll see, that, mate. That, that's we'll the see. hardest thing. We'll Brian. absolutely see. Well, look, hopefully we do win today. I appreciate you coming on and uh, check out his vlog later as well. Okay, Harry, we found some shelter out of the rain, out of the wind, out of the cold, kind of. Today's a big game, probably, arguably, one of the hardest games this season for us. We're home at the Amex again. It's Brighton versus Arsenal. What's your score predictions? What's your goal scorers? Let us know. Let's go for a 2 2. I'm going to go for one for Trossard and then I think one from. Go Lewis Dunk. Why not? And then I think for uh, Arsenal, I'll go for Martin Udegaard, I think. And then also. Um... I don't know the second goal scorer, but I think it maybe two from Odegaard, two from Odegaard, I reckon. Absolutely love that. Look, transfer window is pretty much here now. January's here. What do you want as a Brighton fan for us to buy? Do you want to buy anyone and what position and anyone if you've got in mind? Um, still Goncalo Ramos. That's the one that I've kept saying and I will keep saying it because I think that's the one that we really do need. So you um, think striker? Really striker, yeah. No. Absolutely love that. Couldn't have said it better. Harry, always a good interview right. of you. You're always putting out the facts for us. Let's get on to the next interview. Okay, so unbelievably, we have met some Canadian Arsenal fans all the way from Canada. Absolutely pleasure to have you on the channel. What do you think then as Arsenal fans, as your score prediction today? Uh, I think that uh, they, they will win because, because they have the more opportunities. Yes, more true. Opportunities. I love I that. Hope so. I hope yeah, so. you absolutely love that. So who do you think is going to score today then? Uh, I think uh, Martinelli, Saka and Saka again. Oh, two love goals that. for Saka. Wow. Absolutely love that. What do you think, buddy? I agree with today? everything he just said. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think it's going to be hopefully 3-1 yeah. Arsenal. Yeah. And I could see, like you said, Saka scoring one, Martinelli and Eddie Ketty in the third. We absolutely love that. So what is the player, uh, the biggest threat uh, for, for a Brighton fan today then? What would you say is your biggest threat coming uh, forward into this game? Yeah? Yeah, you guys are gritty. What about Nketiah? Uh, Nketiah, uh, you know what, he, 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 I think he'll step it up. Um, the kid deserves, deserves a chance. He's been at the club for many years. He's been on loan. He's yep. Last year, at the end of last year, he was scoring a lot of goals. Yep. I have faith in him. I think we'll probably sign one more player, but I think Eddie will get his chance. And Do you I think you have a good uh, tra January transfer market then? I think so, yeah. We're already looking at signing two players. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they come and get it across the line. If we get those transfers, I think we'll win the league. Amazing. Yeah. That's my next question. Last question. Do you think Arsenal are winning the league? Are you going to win the league? Uh, yes, but but I think what if Eddie Ketty gets injured? Well, I think Joe that's Felix could. That, I think Joe Felix could replace him for that. Yeah, Joe Felix. That's Ooh, one of the first ones. That would be amazing. Do you yeah. think we're gonna you're then, gonna win the league? And uh, if we do, if we make the right signings yep. in January, which I think Arteta and Edu are not playing around anymore, they're making the signings early. I think we have a very good chance of winning the league. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a battle up the top there with Man City and Arsenal. I wish you guys luck as Arsenal fans and thank, thank you. you for coming thank on. You. Appreciate it, man. Okay, another interview here with... Uh, you guys have been on before, haven't you, I believe? Yeah, yeah. 
What do you think then today, guys? It's a big one. We're a bit of a bogey team to Arsenal. We always seem to get results out of them. Let me know your score predictions today. Goal scorers, what's the scores? I reckon 1 0 Albion. Uh, I couldn't call a scorer. Could be, could be anyone, but as long as we get one, don't we'll, really matter. We'll take that. It's three points, isn't it, at the end yeah. of the day? What do you think, buddy? I think 2 2 and Gross and March, and then for Arsenal, I think. Gab uh, not, no, he's not playing, I don't think. I think it might be really Nketiah, sure. maybe, yeah, going up front today. I don't know about Arsenal, but. It'd be interesting. Hopefully we do get the win. But obviously we've got January transfer window coming up. What position do you think we should be aiming for if we are going to buy anyone this transfer? I think we need a goal scorer. Yeah. Um, you know, um, someone who can get 15 a season or something like that. Yeah, you know, agreed. That you can rely on a bit more rather than... I mean, it's good that the midfielders are scoring, yeah. but just an out-and-out -out goal scorer. I Absolutely. Think we need, yeah. Absolutely. What do you think? Do you think uh, we should be going for striker, midfielder, defence? Striker, that Ramos guy from Portugal. Oh yeah, the Ramos guy, yeah, absolutely. I've been looking at him as well. He's Portuguese guy, isn't he? He played in the World Cup. He looks good. So, um, last question then. Obviously, we're doing well at the moment. Do you think we'll be able to keep it up? Do you think Conference League, Europa League is a possibility this season? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, think? conference league, but the league's a bit too much. So a little yeah, bit too much. League. Hopefully we do, but boys, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. First of all, Josh, day one, get the badge in. Get the badge in. Josh, day one Brighton fan, how are you doing, lad? It's good to see you today. It's a big one. We're a bogey team to Arsenal. We know this. We get results out of them. But today, we're in the Amex. What's happening? Um, I mean, Arsenal, yeah, they're a tough team, but like you said, I think it's um, out of 13 games, we've won five, they won five, and then we've drawn, drawn yep. three. Yep. So I reckon I'm going to go one nil. I think we can crack them. I think we can. OK, Josh, last question then. We've, I've had a lot of interviews. Do you think we get Conference League this season? Yes or no? Just about, yes. Yeah. Just about get Conference League. Josh, appreciate you coming on for another one. Let's get to the next interview. Japanese international playing here again at the Amex. Come on! Come on! Oh no. This ain't looking good. Martinelli. Oh my god. And Arsenal scored one minute in the game. One minute in the game, Arsenal score. We've got an Arsenal fan behind me as well. Just makes it better, doesn't it? Just makes it better. There you go. It's caught us on the break. And it is Bukayo Saka. First goal for Arsenal. It's not what you want at the start of the game. They caught us on the break easily. Just not in the game yet. We've, we've not even touched the ball. I think we touched the ball once. And then they came on the attack, threatening, just like Arsenal do. And Bukayo Saka takes the first goal. It's 1 0 to Arsenal. Yeah. Well, is this opinion? Karuma Toma, hopefully he can get another goal for the Albion today. It'll be amazing for the Japanese fans. Time to go! Time to go! Oh no! No! Mitoma! Oh. No! That was close! Holy moly! Odegaard! With an absolute screamer. 
with an absolute screamer. And the way ain't go crazy for Martin Odegaard. Scoring at the Amex, making it 2-0 to the Arsenal on the 38th minute of the game. And this is Arsenal, top of the league for a reason. The attack is menacing. And they've scored an absolute banger there. Half time, 2-0 to the Arsenal. Come on! Let's go, second half baby, come on, come on, come on. Mattinelli, 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 Mattinelli. Oh, and it's three. And it is three. And I think it's in Ketia to score it. It is an absolute thrashing. First half they scored a goal straight away. In the second half they've just scored a goal in the first minute there as well. Jeremy Samiento. The next big thing for the Albion, in my opinion. Another Ecuadorian player coming on the field. And here he is to hopefully change the game for Brian. Oh no! Oh! Martinelli! Martinelli! Disgraceful. Come on, I missed it! Come on! Come on! Come on! We're back here. Oh no, not VAR. Oh no. I think it was Matoma who scored. Come on! 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 Go on! Come on! Come Yes! No! You've got to be. I'm sorry. You've got to be scoring it. You've got to be scoring them. Come on, bro. Samiento laid it off. Uh-oh. Martinelli, no. Martinelli. He's so quick. He's so quick. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. And it's Martinelli. I can't believe it. I thought Lamptey. I thought he was quick. But, but Martinelli, he's different levels, isn't he? Martinelli is different levels. I can't believe I missed it again. It's Ferguson. It's Fergie. This is a goal fest today. This is a goal fest today. New Year's Eve goal fest. Here at the Amex Stadium. Brighton 2. For. I don't think we're going to come back, but Evan Ferguson. yeah, even Ferguson, man, or Evan Ferguson, Is that a second goal? I think it's the second goal now for the club, and you know what, not bad, man, not bad, we'll take, we'll take that, man, we'll take that, just, just the goal difference, man, I'm counting on the goal difference now. Second, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he's loving it. He's loving it. He's loving it. He's loving it. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. It's not over till it's over. It is not over. Again, I apologise. I, I don't know what's going on with me. Oh no, checking VAR. Yeah, yeah, Possible right. offside. I don't think so. Oh no, I don't, don't do so. it again.
the Vietnam Tobin said that goal. there will be a minimum of six minutes at a time. He's offside. He's offside. Hey, and we lost. 4 2 to the Arsenal. Okay, so boys, what do we think of the performance today? Well, first half was shocking, but second half, last 10 15 minutes were brilliant. Definitely. Yeah, went quite well, got some goals in, couldn't get enough to win. I'll take that as a positive. Who do you think was the player of the match today, your man of the match? Matoma. Same. Absolutely, Matoma. Well, boys, hopefully we have some luck in the next game. Appreciate you guys coming on. Okay. Niv, the meal deal guy, the TikTok sensation, is here with us again. Niv, look, it's a really interesting game because first half, not good. Second half, really decent. Got a couple of goals back, got one that was ruled out by VAR. Really upsetting, but Matoma played extremely well. It's a bit up and down. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, do you know what? Um, I wasn't happy with the ref today. If I'm, if, if in all honesty, I don't think I was the only one in the stadium not happy with the ref. But Toma, you know, he, he, he played. In a, I mean, he was my man of the match. Played a hell of a game. Um, and at four three, you're, you're you're looking at the game. And you're like, hang on a minute now. We've got what six minutes out of time. This game's coming to life. Um, I thought, in all honesty, second half we gave it a real go. I'm sure Luke would agree with me. Um, and I mean, that was that was a really strong Brighton second half um, at three nil. I mean, I was still here at three nil, and I thought the game, you know, was dead. We're going to go four five nil. It's going to be a whitewash. But um, we, we gave it a little bit of a fight, and um, I do like to see that team character in the side. Yeah, absolutely. And I just think, you know, players coming on, I, f I thought they did extremely well in the likes of, obviously, um, and CISO coming on, and Jeremy Samiento. Um, what do you think then, if you were, Roberto Zerbe, if you were the, uh, the manager of Brighton Hove Albion and you were going 3 0 at half time, or was it 2 0 at half time, what would you have done to make things different and to make things better in this game? First of all, Changes wise, I would have made him earlier. Yeah, I mean, I think a 3 0 was it a 3 0? But I mean, I know this third goal came quite early in the second half, so many goals, whatever. Um, he could have made that maybe on like 15 minutes, yeah. he could have made those changes. You know, players were tiring. I mean, for me at the back, I mean, unfortunately, Colwell just didn't give it his all. We were walking it out from the back at times, Colwell and Dunk, and it, it's not it's not usually what you see, you know. I mean, I think Dunk, obviously, partnership wise, he's solid with Webster. Um, it's amazing, it's much more of a foundation there um, so I obviously I felt a little bit let down by the defense today um, I'm actually really happy with Ferguson scoring that goal because he scored more than Dennis Sundav has and that's exactly, quite that's surprising isn't He's it so goal. yeah what is he 18 as well He's I believe very young He's very young so potential young. there do you know what I mean there's potential it's a great striker to have and it's, it's great to almost put a little bit of uh, reliability on him coming onto the field you know that if he's going to score goals, he's a good person to bring on as a super sub. But exactly. look, Niv, what an interview with you today. At the end as well, it's great to have one at the end, showing the thoughts of two Brighton fans here. It's really, really, really good. And I appreciate you, Niv. Yeah, onwards and upwards, boys. Happy New Year. There we go. Happy New Year indeed. Yes, guys, I'm at home now. Um, look, I nearly forgot to do the uh, outro, so I'm doing it now. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Look, I know it's been a long, long, long video, but we've had a lot of interviews. It's been really good to hear what fans think of today's game and, of course, with Niv after the game. But, guys, just want to give out uh, a shout-out to, of course, Mitoma. Karu Mitoma, absolute legend, absolute god. I've got to make a video about him very, very soon and talk about his stats and how crucial he is for Brighton over Albion. I'm going to be making some videos very soon about some in particular players um, from Brighton and, and talk about their stats and various other things as well. Also coming up video-wise is January Transfer Market Talk. Obviously, we're going to be talking about all the rumours and people we sold and bought, all that good stuff. But anyway, people, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you're an Arsenal fan, if you're a Brighton fan, if you're a fan from another club watching this vlog, I would really appreciate it. If you do enjoy what you're watching, please go ahead and subscribe and turn that bell notifications on and like this video if you have enjoyed it. We smashed our 200 likes that we set on the last match day vlog in Southampton. Let's try and go for 300 likes this time. But anyway, it's been your boy, Luke Links Brighton. And I'll see you, Bright Fanatics, in the next video. Peace out.